What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Filt from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com. And if this is your first time looking at any of my videos, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to do a real quick tip for you guys. I like to call this the snare scratching technique. So let's get into it. We're going to attempt some DJ techniques into our beat making. So if you are not a DJ like myself, I'm not a DJ, but I love the concepts that they use. So let's just play a record real quick. I got some vinyl playing right now. Here you go. And you hear this a lot for DJ to do this. Like right on the snare. You know what I'm saying? Right on the snare drum. You hear that, right? We're going to apply that to a snare drum on an MP or whatever drum machine you have. All right? So you take your snare, whatever snare you have. I got this right here. I'm going to copy it, put it on this pad, throw that copy in reverse. Simple. That's all it is. To this is what you're going to do. I got the snare. Move the cursor up to the name. See that? Open it and copy it says snare 27. Copy it. Now it's going to name it snare 28. Did that say snare 2? No, it says, yeah. It says snare 29. You can always change the number. Up. I did this before, so anyway. Snare 29, whatever the, the name is. Copy it. Close out of it. So now you are, you're at snare 29. That's the copy you made. All you do now is hit edit, and you're going to hit Reverse. You're going to go all the way to reverse. Do it. So now you got the copy and you just put it in reverse. Okay, now the key is you're going to cut off all this space that's in the beginning of that sound so it'll go right when you hit the pad. It'll just, see what I'm saying? So you do that. Discard the rest of it. Boom. There you go. All right. Now, Next step is you're going to assign what pad you want it on. I want it here, so I just press this pad, find the sound you just made, boom, now it's there. Original, I copied it, put it on this pad, and put it in reverse. There you go. Now, this is something that I like to do to kind of clean it up that you can use. You're going to go back to your parameters page. I'll, put, I'll have both my sounds on mono. Open that up. And I'm going to use mute assign. That way, each sound I press will cut off the other one. OK? Just that simple. So they don't play at the same time. OK? Now, all drum machines don't have to do that, but if you're on an MPC 2000 XL, do that. All you do now is just play. Now you got the... See how that's cutting? This one's cutting that off, and that's cutting this off. So now it sounds like you kind of scratching with the snare. Oops. Now, you, now it sounds like you're scratching with the snare. So I'm going to just play along with a beat. You know how I do. Here you go. I did try it out try it at home <laughs> have fun I'm sleepy y'all I'll check y'all on the next one peace so if you like the video go ahead hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already I really appreciate you guys watching my videos I got all my social links below this video if you click show more you can see all my links check me out follow me I appreciate you guys come to the website more videos to come I appreciate y'all I check y'all out on the next one. Peace.